So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and basically reset and factory reset your ASUS Rogue Ally. Now doing this is pretty basic. It's the same way that you'd end up resetting a Windows PC. It's essentially the same exact thing. So what you'd wanna do here is you wanna make your way over to your Windows icon at the bottom and we wanna make our way over to our settings application. So go through, click on the settings portion, which is right here. And I know it's a little hard to see, but you can either click on try to find the reset panel, or you can just click on the search bar at the very top and just type in reset. So when you type in reset, the first option for reset this PC is going to come up. So tap on reset this PC, and then there's gonna be a lot of stuff that comes up. But right here, you're gonna see this option for reset this PC. So you can tap on this little option right here, and it will tell you right here exactly the two options you have, either going through and keeping your files or completely removing everything. In this case, I want to completely remove everything. So now it's going to see whether I wanna do a cloud download or I wanna do local install. For the most part, a cloud download is going to be the best option. That one's going to be the one that's going to be able to reset everything, and it's going to reinstall a clean version of Windows. A local install, basically the files it has locally, it's gonna be able to install that one. So you can choose whichever one you want. In this case, I am going to do cloud download. Now this next one, it's gonna say current settings, X, Y, and Z. You can go ahead and kind of click back or you can click next. I'd recommend making a backup of everything before doing this because you are, you know, this is going to delete everything off of your console. So kind of keep that in mind. But after going through and going through the initial setup, it's going to give you a little bit of time and then you're going to be able to use it after, and then you can sell it or return it or whatever you want to do after. But that's essentially how it's done. As you can see, it says ready to reset. You can click on next and it's going to start downloading this you know, software. It's going to start you know, reinstalling it or resetting it. And now you just have to wait it out. It can take anywhere from 30 minutes or so, so keep that in mind. But after that bit of time, it'll start to reboot and then you can use it whichever way you want to then. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.